Everything about me that's not like you, God, hallelujah. I'm giving it up to you, God, hallelujah. Oh, all of my attitudes, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm giving it all to you, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, all of my long mindsets, I'm giving it to you, God, hallelujah. I want to be used by you, Jesus, yeah. I'm giving it all to you, God, yeah. I'm giving it all. it all to you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah, I'm giving up to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to be used by you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm taking off everything that's not like you, God. That's not like you, God. Hallelujah. I want to be used in a supernatural way, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this is for all this is for you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I want to give up to you, God. All this oh, is for you. All oh, this is totally for you, Jesus. All oh, this, this is for you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy today. Hallelujah, glory. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. We lift our hands to you today. Hallelujah. Oh, you're worthy, God. Oh, oh. oh you're worthy today. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah, we honor you today, hallelujah. 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 We honor you, God, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. There's no other name like your name, Jesus, hallelujah. I can search all over the world, hallelujah, oh, there's only one thing that changes situations, hallelujah, Jesus, 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 hallelujah, there's power in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, there's power in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, I love the name, I love the name, Jesus, hallelujah, Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in your name. There's healing in your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love the name. I love the name. Hallelujah. I love the name. I love the name. Hallelujah. I love the name, Jesus. He's healing every hurt today. Hallelujah, Lord. He's healing every situation today. I love his name. Hallelujah. It's over here in his name. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. No matter what you're going through. Hallelujah. There's nothing too hard for him. Hallelujah. He's healing every situation today. Huh? Oh. By the still water today. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. There's power in his name. Hallelujah. There's power in his name. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. No matter what I'm going through, no matter what you're going through, there's power in his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
on right where you are, just lift your hands to the Lord. Come on, just begin to say his sweet name, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, come on and call on him. Come on, if you call on him, he'll come to you. Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, just worship him just a little bit longer. See, because when you worship him, you honor him. And when you honor him, come on, he honors you with his presence. Hallelujah. To your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Come on, somebody tell the Lord that you love him. Tell him that you love him. See, when you love him, you can sing a melody to him. Can I tell you that he'll sing back to you? Come on, I dare you to ask the Lord to sing back to you. Say, Lord, sing to me. I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Oh. Come on, when you worship the atmosphere of heaven comes to you. of your soul today. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. See, when he's a lover of your soul, you don't need nobody to coach you. You don't need nobody to pump you. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Just give him a wave offering. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy. 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 You're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Matthews chapter 8. Yeah, Matthews chapter 8, verses 1 through 3. Matthews chapter 8, verses 1 through 3. 
Now, when you have it, say amen. 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 I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it out of the. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna read it out of the King James first, the New King James. It says, "When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him, and behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean.'" Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, he's willing to heal you. Say it again. He's willing to heal you. Now, one thing that I that I noticed in the text that you that that I've learned about the presence of God and healing and, and, and miracles, one major component is worship. Is worship. Somebody say worship. worship. The Bible the Bi the Bible says that and behold a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing you can make me clean. So as he worshiped the Lord came. So that's a representation of when I worship God and I honor God, he comes. Amen. So, so when he comes, then he took the opportunity to ask him for what he needed. But the Bible says that he had leprosy, so which means that he was considered unclean. Now, Jesus had just finished teaching on the Beatitudes in the mountain or on the hill. And he was coming down. Now, if the man would have took the risk and went up, went up the mountain where everybody else was, they would have stoned him because he was considered unclean. So he sat there. He, he stood there at the foot of the mountain and began to worship. And when he opens his eyes, Jesus showed up. Can I tell you, that's why the enemy doesn't want you to worship because he doesn't want Jesus to come and show up on your behalf. And see, a lot of times we, we wait for certain things to happen, but things will begin to happen when you learn how to worship. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Come on, see, because if you can learn how to worship and honor the Lord, honor his presence, come on, you don't have to have anybody lay hands on you. You don't have to have you. Listen, you ain't got to work for your condition to be called out. It'll just happen because as you honor him, he's already carrying your healing. See, that's one thing that I, that I understand about honor. Somebody say honor. honor. When, you, when you honor, right, the gift that the, the, the person that you honor or God is using, when you honor them, their gift is open to you, right? So when you honor the Lord, he in return honors you with your request. So, so if, you're, if you're believing God for a healing when you worship him which causes his presence to come and you're honoring him in your worship come on that what you are believing for that what you what you need from God he releases to you because you have honored him that's why when you come on when you come when we come here we worship God why because we want him to come and when we honor him we need him to release what we need to see, because that's how things are released to you. And then when it's released to you, then it's able, then you're able to receive what has been given. Because worship is the vehicle that God uses to, 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 to um, cause the great exchange to take place. Amen? So, so whether you need a healing in your body, whether you need deliverance or inner healing, come on. If you learn to worship, come on, you can have it. Even a demoniac, he fell down at his feet and worshiped. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you want from me, Jesus? He worshiped. Presence. Somebody say presence. presence. Hallelujah. Jesus, was, his willingness and his healing and healing for the poor leper is proof that God wants to heal. Sometimes we think, well, God, he, you know, maybe what I'm going through is, is I'm, I'm just suffering. Now, even though, catch this now and pay attention to what I'm about to say. Some sicknesses, 
Some things that we deal with in life are self-inflicted. It's because we wasn't we didn't we didn't properly take care of our temples, so we deal with certain things in our bodies. Amen. 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 Yes. Come on, you dealing with asthma and, and problems with your lungs? Stop smoking. Everybody, people don't like that. God, I need you. God, I need you to touch my lungs. I need you to heal me. I need you. And God touch you. You don't change your habits. Oh, let me tell you what the Bible says. When a spirit is cast out, he sits back. He said, I'm going back to my house. But when I go back to my house, I'm taking seven more worse than me. I'm bringing seven buddies that's worse than me. See, that's why when you come on, when God delivers you or when he heals you, you got to change your habits. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wasn't really expecting no shouting on that one, but it's the truth anyhow. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But, but the thing that really stuck out to me is that he worshiped. Somebody said he worshiped. Which means it didn't matter what this person was thinking about. It didn't matter what this one was doing. It was something that he wanted from God. Amen. He wanted, he, he wanted to be healed. He was tired of walking around with that leprosy. He was tired of not being able to go around folk. Come on. Amen. He said, listen, I'm going to sit here and worship until he comes. And it was the worship, come on, as he began to worship, he began to find where he was. How is it that Jesus found him in the midst of all those people? Because it was a, it was a multitude of people. I ain't talking about like a few people, you know, like maybe 10, 12, 13 of them, or even 20. No, 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 no. It was a multitude of people. And out of that multitude of people, he found that man standing there worshiping. And when he opened his eyes, Jesus was there. When he worship, this is why worship is very important. Why? Because it causes his presence to come to you. Well, as some of you that were here last week, God gave me a revelation. And, and, and the revelation was when you can't trace him, trust him and worship and praise him. Why? Because it causes him to come out of hiding. The Bible says when you praise him, he inhabits the praises of his people, which means that he makes habitation wherever the praise is, which means that he comes where you are. When you worship, come on, you release a sweet aroma. Come on, he's able to locate you when you worship. So both of those means that it causes him to come out of hiding. So if I praise him and I worship him, come on, and I honor him, come on, he's coming, releasing what I need. Is this good? That's why worship is important. Come on, when we do worship, they ain't up here, we ain't at no club. They ain't up here doing no numbers. We ain't, not, you thought this was about entertainment? Bless your heart. No. When we worship, this is about creating an atmosphere for God to come. Listen, the Bible says that in, in, in heaven where the throne is, angels are flying around him. There's, there's, there's lightning, there's thunder, and there's voices. So he's surrounded by sound. Light, sound, and voices. So when we worship, come on, you create that same environment that he's used to. And he comes because he's in an environment that he, that's conducive to what he's used to. Amen? Amen? That's why you worship. And that's why it's hard for some of us to worship because when we come in, we come in bearing all this stuff. And, and while you're trying to get in, the devil just rolling the move in your mind. Tell me, you remember you did this? Amen. And then you did it with a combination. And all it is, all it is, all it's the purpose of that, of why the enemy's doing that, so that you can't get in worship so that he can come and 
be where you are so that you can get what you need from God. Hallelujah. See, one thing about God, he's not a respecter of a person, but he's, he is a respecter of faith. Yes. How many of you believe that? Yes. So, so now we just tied worship and faith together. Yes. See, I, I'm, I'm, I want to teach you how to receive your healing and how to get the presence of God to come to you. Amen. Hebrews 13 and 8 says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means that if he did it back then, he's still doing it now. Can I tell you that there is no condition, there's no issue, there's no bondage that you're dealing with right now in the present that he does not have the keys to unlock you out of. But if you learn to worship him, he come to you. Listen, we even see this in the lives of Paul and Silas when they begin to sing praises unto God because they was beat up, come on, locked up in the inner prison, okay? No way out. Surrounded. But when they begin to worship and give God glory and praise his name, what happened? The Bible says that there was an earthquake. And then the next thing you know, suddenly, come on, the, the, the chains broke and the, the prison doors were open, not just theirs, but everybody else. So what am I saying to you? Your praise is powerful because not your praise is not just strong enough for you, but it's strong enough for your neighbor. Thank you. Yes. Yes. But they praise, and when they praise, come on, he came, God came to where the praise was. Yes. Yes. Come on, you dealing with some drama at work? Praise him, see what happens. You got some craziness going on inside of your house? Praise him and see what happens. Because he inhabits the praises of his people. Listen to this, Matthew 8 and 16. Matthew 8 and 16. Listen to this. When the, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick. I'm telling you, he's willing. But every time he comes, listen, when, when the presence of the Lord comes, it's not just here just to linger. It's here for a purpose. So whatever you need from God, worship him. Well, you know, Pastor, I ain't got no music. Who said you need the music? You the song. <laughs> well, Pastor, you know, I, I really can't sing. That's between you and God. <laughs> Amen? Listen, I can't sing. I just got a great musician so I can hide. <laughs> but God still loves me. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. But even, even if you are oppressed, see, you got to learn to press your way. Somebody say press your way. Press your way. And to worship and praise. Come on. Right where you are. Some, listen, you don't have to wait till you come to church. You can do it while you're at home. Listen, then what did I tell you? That the kingdom of God is within you, right? That same kingdom is a supernatural kingdom, right? It's an unshakable kingdom, right? Yes. Come on, that means he lives on the inside of you, right? Yes. So when you worship him, come on, that presence overshadows you. Amen? Amen? So that means, catch this, if I'm dealing with something in my body, come on, I ain't got to wait till the, till the man of God or woman of God call it out. I ain't got to wait till I come to church. You suffering all week. But he's giving you the word so that you can speak the word and decree a thing. Come on, and it shall be. Amen? Amen. So when you get it, come on, let me, let me help you. So what do you do? You worship. Somebody say worship. worship. His presence comes. Have faith. Have faith. Then decree, decree. And it shall be. 
Pastor, that's too easy. That's too easy, Pastor. You know, AJ, we just make we, we, we just make it so hard. That's why it's so hard for us to receive because we're looking for extra deep stuff. But it's simple. Somebody say simple. simple. Even in your household, come on, things that's crazy in your house. Command, come on, cause the presence of God to come into your house with faith. Amen. Because he, he, even though God is a respecter of persons, come on, but he is a respecter of faith. Amen. Then decree and declare a thing and it shall be. Hallelujah. See, sometimes we just we just want to sit back. We just waiting for God to do, but we still have to take action. Somebody say you have to take action. Every listen, I was I was I was searching through the scriptures, just doing I was just doing some reading, and I noticed something. Well, for one, this this um, a couple of days ago, I dreamed about killing giants, and I ain't talking about like nine foot giants. I'm talking about giants big as Godzilla. But see, those are the type of giants that they had back then. If you read the book of Numbers, they said, well, you know, the, the land is filled with milk and honey and, and grapes as big as your face. Come on. But uh, we, we are like grasshoppers unto them because they were giants. These were descendants of the Nephilim. Come on. The bloodline still carried on. Amen. But even, even with that, come on. No matter what giant situation that you're dealing with, you are more than able to overcome it because the kingdom on the inside of you is strong enough to overtake it. Amen? No matter what type of sickness, no, no matter what type of mental anguish that you are dealing with, it's the power of God that can trump it. It's the power of God that can overtake it. And I got good gospel news for you. He wants to do it. Yes. Yes. Well, Pastor, you know, that sounds real good. That's a good hook. But I'm still battling with some things. Do you believe what you say or are you just quoting? It is, listen, it's his desire to heal. It's just his desire to do miracles on your behalf. It's his desire to do signs and wonders. It's his desire to use you to do those things also. Amen. This is another, this is one of my favorite scriptures. Psalms 103 verse 3. It says, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who heals all thy diseases. Somebody say he heals all. I don't care what you're dealing with. He heals all. Well, you know, Pastor, my leg's still hurting, so we'll command it to stop. Well, Pastor, huh? And it has to obey you. How, how many of you in here are in the kingdom? So if you're in the kingdom, when that comes to you, it's in violation. Sickness and disease is not in the kingdom. Oppression is not in the kingdom. So if you're being attacked, because that's what it is, it is a spiritual attack. That's trying to manifest, manifest itself in the natural. Right? So if that, and, and the Bible says that I have power, that, I mean, listen, that's what Jesus said, and I'm only going with what he said. He said, all power is given unto me, and I give you power. So if he's given me power and I have been authorized, come on, not only do I have the authority, I have the dunamis, I can speak to it and it has to stop. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Jeremiah 30 and 17, another one of my favorite scriptures. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of, of all thy wounds. You know what that part is? When it says that I heal you, your wounds, that's your, your heart, inner, emotional. How many of us need to be healed? Come on, you got some wounds. Can I tell you that he heals those too? See, sometimes when we think of healing, we always think physical. It ain't just physical. He heals all. Come on, there's, 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 there's none. He said, well, he heals this, but he don't do that. No. He heals all. So there's nothing that you deal with in your life that he can't do. Come on, let, 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 me, let me bring it home. Even if your finances is jacked up. He'll heal that too. But he'll give you a strategy, and when he gives you a strategy, you got to follow the strategy. That's the same thing in, in, in healing or just receiving from God. He gives you an, an instruction. Amen? Amen? And when God gives you an instruction or he uses a man or a woman of God to give you an instruction, when I say man and woman of God, I'm, I'm not just talking about if you if you um, stand behind here. No, I'm talking about if you're a believer. Amen. Amen. And 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 you give an instruction or, or an instruction has been given to you and you do that, then the manifestation of that will take place. When you read the story about Naaman, Naaman was given an instruction to go dip in the Jordan seven times. Now he almost missed this miracle because he was mad because he had to go dip in the Jordan. One, two, he was upset because the prophet didn't come out and talk to him. Come on, he wanted, he wanted all the bells and whistles. Come on, he wanted the keyboard. He wanted the drums. Come on, he wanted all that. He, he wanted the people in the background. <laughs> he wanted all of that. He wanted, he wanted to shout. He said, get your healing, get your healing. Get it, get it, get it, get it. He wanted all of that. He got one word of instruction, which the prophet gave to his servant. He said, go jump in the lake. And then, come on, and, 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 the, and what he told the gentleman was the nasty one, dirty one. He said, you could have told me to go wash in the other. Why are you tell me? So due to his offense, he almost missed his miracle. Can I tell you, holding things in your heart can cause you to stay, can it gets, gets, gets that sickness or that disease or that demonic spirit that's oppressing you, legal ground to stay? Well, Pastor, I don't have to forgive them, but you can't understand why you're still dealing with arthritis. You can't understand why your back and stuff still hurting. You can't understand why you're still dealing with the same old stuff, like it just won't leave, no matter what you do. It's almost like, it's almost like you know, I, I used to watch like the, the Friday the 13th movies. You watch the Friday 13th movie with Jason. They did. They burn and they blow him up and everything. He come walking out. <laughs> but, but, and, and that's, that's just an example. But when you don't, come on, when you don't deal with stuff, amen, you give, you give, you give the enemy legal access in your life. To stay, and you can't get no breakthrough. Come on, you go get your hand laid on you. You fall out, you jump, you shout. You're like, ooh, I'm feeling good. As soon as you leave, boom, there it is. Amen. You done did everything, and there it is. Except let that thing go. Amen. Or change your habits. Yes. No, see, we want our cake and eat it, too. We want to keep. Keep the same habits, doing the same stuff, and say, okay, God, bless me, Lord God, do it. And sometimes he'll do it. But that's his goodness. Amen. But you got to change your mindsets. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
He, listen, God will restore your health. Listen, I've, I've known God to give people brand new organs. I've known God to pull people out of wheelchair. I've known God, to, come on, out of eyes nobly cross-eyed, be straightened. I've seen people get out of wheelchairs. I've seen canes. I've seen all of that. All of that. And some and some kept it. And some kept their cane. Some kept their walker. Come on, they got healed, walked, and sat right back in their wheelchair and rolled right back to their place. <laughs> got out and walked. Somebody said, you got to change your mind. mind. It's God's desire, come on, to heal us. See, listen, all you got to do is just receive the finished work of the cross. He finished it. Somebody say that he finished it. it. See, sometimes we, we can't, we can't. We can't get that. Well, he finished it. Well, how come I'm still dealing with it? Why are you? (coughs) If something is finished, then it's finished. That means ain't no comeback. Ain't no, come on, it's finished. Jesus did something so that it would be finished. There's some things that we have to do so that we can, come on, reap the full benefits of it is finished. Amen? Amen. So what's in your life right now that you need to deal with? Come on, so you can reap the benefit of it is finished. See, because if it's finished, when you get healed, you shouldn't be dealing with the same thing. Now, deliverance in itself is a process. Amen? Amen? Come on, because it didn't just start when you got saved. Come on, that thing started when you was a child and kept building strongholds in your life. Amen? Amen. But he's a God that sets free. Sometimes we think, well, I'm just waiting on the Lord to do it. You know, if, if you know, God's just trying to teach me a lesson. Or we sometimes, we as Christians, we say some of the craziest stuff. We act like the kingdom is coming when the kingdom is here. Woo! I'm believing that the the kingdom is coming. No. It's it's right now. It's here. Somebody say the kingdom is here. here. Well, pastor, where is that? In you. In me. Full of power. You walking around full of power and don't know it. And all you got to do is worship and praise him. Come on. As you worship and praise and release your faith and decree a thing and it shall be. What do you need to release? What do you need to declare? Because it is his desire to heal and deliver and work miracles in your midst. What is it that you need from God? What is it that you want from God? What is it? See, because when you worship and his presence comes, that's your opportunity to ask. So when you ask, and then he gives you instructions, come on, and you obey the instructions, come on, you shall have whatsoever you say. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. See, God, listen, he doesn't just want us to experience his power, but he wants to use us. Amen? Amen. He wants, he, come on, his, his power to flow through us to touch others. How many of you here want God to use you? You want to be used by God. Come on, you you know that, listen, you know you're not just here on earth just to take up oxygen. There's a purpose and a plan for your life. Amen? 
Hallelujah. God wants to use you to heal. God wants to use you to deliver. See, one thing that I, I've, I've come to this place in my life that I understand that God, the, the purpose of the gospel is not just, it was, was not designed to be without demonstration. Without the demonstration of the power of God, all we are as believers and as preachers, and I'm going to say live, we are motivational speakers. When God has called us to be demonstrators. How many want to be demonstrators? To prove that he is. Amen. Listen it, don't, it, listen, it don't matter at what level you at, God can use you. Sometimes you think, well, you know, I ain't been saved long enough. When, who told you that it was seniority in God? <laughs> well, you know, I, I got 20 years, so, you know, my, I'm, I'm on a seniority list. It, it ain't no union. God is calling you. Somebody say, God is calling me. God is calling me. To work the works. Work. That's at every level. Listen, when, when, listen, when you receive him, come on, you've got authority. Amen. You have power over the enemy. Amen. Why? Because you are in the kingdom. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So like I told you, not only does God want to touch you, and heal you and restore you and give you breakthrough. Come on. But he wants to use you to do the same thing to, to uh, uh, the uh, unbeliever or your brother, your sister, your, your family member. He wants to use you in that manner as well. Hallelujah. He's given us the power to be a witness. But you have to, you have to be a worshiper. Amen. You have to worship God and honor him. Come on. And, and walk in the fear of God. Why? Why the fear of God? And what I mean by the fear of God, I don't mean be afraid of him. I mean respect him. Amen. And when you walk in that, rev in, that, in, that, in that fear of God, it allows the presence of God to stay upon you. Sometimes we think, well, you know, I can only get the presence of God when I come to church. No. Keep that presence on you. So, so, so wherever you go, that presence goes with you. Come on, the presence of God doesn't just stay in one place. Amen. It will travel. Amen. All through the Bible, come on, the Ark of the, the Ark of the Covenant represented the presence of God. Amen? Amen. And they traveled. Amen. Amen. That same presence, come on, lives on the on the inside of you. And if you, if you, if you, if, and if you are a worshiper, come on, that presence not only stays on the ins, not only resides on the inside of you, but it will be upon you. Amen. And everywhere you go, that presence goes. That means when the presence goes and when you decree a thing, come on, in that presence, come on, things happen. Amen. Come on. That, that, listen, he said all things are possible to them that believe. All things, not some things, not a few things, not if you got you some seniority, not if you've been saved two, three, four, five years, 20 years. No, all things. That's whether you just got saved in the next 15 minutes. All things. All things. So I want to tell you that God can use you at any level. Listen, when I received the Lord, when I received the Lord, I, I was I was I was walking down the street and I seen one of my friends and he had his little cousin. His cousin had a bad rash on his arm. And you know, I, I had a little bless of oil with me, you know, because I was excited about Jesus. Amen. See, growing up, my my mother and, and my aunt they always went to more Sorella. So when I got saved, I went and got those little books and just start reading them. Amen. And he talked about demonstrating the power of God and miracles and, and all that stuff. You know, I, I didn't know too much all about that, but all I knew was what I read Amen. and what they talked about. Amen. And I wanted to see it too. Yeah. 
So I walked around my little, my little, um, or my little vial, you know. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't no minister or anything. I didn't have no ministerial credentials. Come on, I had no paper with me. All I had was Jesus. So I, I, I see my friend over there, and his, his little cousin is crying, and he's got a little rash, and and it's burning and everything. He said, well, let's, let's pray for his healing. Because I had read it. You know, and I had, you know, I watched Benny Hinn and stuff. You know, he's a touch. You know, so I, I, was, I was believing for that too. Because I thought that's what you do because that was what was modeled before me. So we go, I, I go over there, I get my oil out, rub it in, you know, because you think you, know, you rub it in real good, you know, that, that power going to come. But the power was already there. Without the dramatics. Amen. That's right. yes. Come on, I, I, I had no position. I had no worship. I, come on, I had that sound. Amen. All I had was God. Yes. I know I'm debunking a whole lot of stuff because sometimes people say, well, I, I can't, I, I just don't feel the anointing to pray for healing, you know, but I need a sound. No, you, you carry it. So I, I, I rubbed my hands, you know, and God honored, he, he honored me in my, you know, because I'm thinking that is, you know, you, you rub it together and get that fire going. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I lay hands on, I said, in the name of Jesus, Lord, heal this arm right now. Make it go away in Jesus' name. And right there, we saw it leave. Amen. But wait a minute, I, I wasn't saved long. Come on, I have no seniority. I, if, I, I was only saved for well, a couple of weeks. God honored it. Amen. See, one thing that I love that when I was a babe in Christ, see, because when you were a babe, you say, Jesus, he just shows up. Amen. You know, and I, I just believed him because I was just glad that he loved me. Amen. Come on, I, I, come on, I, I, want, I haven't been saved long enough to get messed up with a bunch of doctrine that, that, come on, all I had just is some simple faith. Like, oh, Lord, you, this is what you did. I'm going to believe it. I, I listen, and I, I wasn't hoping, see, because when you, you get in God long enough and you get, come on, indoctrinated with a whole bunch of stuff, it becomes faith blockers. Now, there's nothing wrong with teaching, amen? But you still have to study, amen? So with that simplicity, God honored it, and he worked miracles. I said, whew, all right. Thank you, Jesus. So I said, well, if it worked for that, we'll go pray for somebody else. Amen. So I just went praying for people and praying for people, and God was doing it. And it was, what, what, what was God doing? He was increasing my faith. Yes. But, but, but when I started getting a big head and thinking that it was about me, thinking that, well, you know, they're getting healed because of me, it stopped. And then I repented. I said, Lord, all power belongs to you. It ain't about me. Lord, you did it. You know, because I understood. And then when I went out again, I said, Lord, I'm going. I said, Lord, this is about you. And then he healed again. I said, like, okay. Even though he never took it away. But he was teaching me in all things to honor me. And when you honor me, I'll release what's needed. It's not about you. It's about him. Come on, give God some praise. See, God, listen, God wants to use us. He don't want, listen, he don't want to just use you if you got a title. He wanted to, look, God is not just using fivefold ministry gifts. Amen. Just in case you don't know what that is, the apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, Amen. pastor, archbishop, chief apostle. You know, there's new names out there now. You know, some of them I can't even keep up. Amen. I, I'm hey, I can't keep up with all the names. You know, I, I'm like God. You know, I, don't, I respect the titles. You know, but I just want to be a son. 
See, because if I could be a son, then I have access to everything. Not just locked in a box. How many of you know God don't want us locked in a box? Now, if we are to be imitators of Christ, Christ was not locked in a box. He flowed in it all. It was about whatever was needed. So I'm like, Lord, I'm open to whatever is needed. Whatever you want to do, I want to do. But ultimately, I just want to be a son. I thank God for the titles because Jesus released those. Amen. He released those gifts because they're gifts. They're ministerial gifts. Amen. But you don't have to have a ministerial gift to, to allow God to use you in that. Amen. God wants to use all of us. How many want to be used by God? Say, Lord, use me. Say it again. Lord, use me. Use me to heal the sick. Cast out devils. Use me. Yeah, I really wanted to come against that. People thinking that, well, um, I haven't been saved that long, so I can't, God can't use me like that. No. Listen, the way things is going, listen, we need all hands on deck. Come on, listen, the guy that I serve, come on, he do own job training. How many of you here know what I'm talking about? He'll tell you, pray for this one. Or he'll say, intercede for this one. See, a lot of times God will do that because he wants to see if you will obey him. And then if you're faithful in the little things, he'll make you a ruler. But God wants to use you. So not only does he want you to reap the benefits of what he's done, but he wants you to tell others and demonstrate it. Hallelujah. Lift your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. And just like Jesus did it back then, and his disciples, and the ones that even came before him when he walked on earth, he wants to use you in that manner. At whatever stage you at, God wants to use you. Listen, demonstrating the power of God is also showing love to somebody. Showing mercy. Feeding the hungry. Everything that we saw Jesus do, that's demonstration of the power of God. Healing the sick. Working miracles. Casting out devils. Raising the dead. He did all of that. We have access to that. Say, Lord, Lord, use me. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, use me. Say it again. Lord, use me. Hallelujah. Well, 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 pastor, you know, I'm still battling this, you know, certain things. You know, I, God can't use me. God can still use you. And he can deliver you too. He can heal you too and still use you. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. 
Lift your hands to the Lord. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for your people. I even pray for those that are watching even now. Father, our cry is that you use us. Lord, our desire is that you get the best use out of these vessels. So, Lord, we're at, we're, wherever stays where, that we're at, Lord, we want you to use us. We want to use us to, to share your gospel. We want you to use us to, to, to share your love, to tell somebody about your goodness. Use us to heal. Use us to deliver. Use us, God. Somebody say, Lord, use me. Hallelujah. Now, Father, right now, I ask that you will release a fresh anointing over your people right now, and even those that are watching, those that have become burnt out, that have been suffering burnout. Father God, I ask that you would renew their strength right now in the name of Jesus. Father, those that have, that are, have been battling discouragement, Lord, I ask that you would release your healing love to them right now, that you will encourage them right now in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, even those that are being tormented in their minds, Father God, bring peace now in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Do it, God. I ask this, Father, in the name of Jesus. Glory to your magnificent name. Glory back. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even those that are dealing with cataracts. Thank you, Lord. Cataracts. Lord, I command the cataracts to fall out. I command the fogginess to leave right now in the name of Jesus. And vision to be restored now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even those, Father God, that are dealing with arthritis. Are dealing with arthritis. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse that arthritis right now. In the name of Jesus, I command it to leave now in the name of Jesus. Go now. All pain, leave. All everything associated with it, leave. In the name of Jesus, I command the proper blood flow to flow right now. I all pain, leave that body right now in the name of of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Rotator cups are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Just what, what right now in this atmosphere, just begin to do what you couldn't do right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is healing rotator cups right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Just begin to do what you couldn't do right now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, don't wait. Don't wait for me to call it out. Do what you couldn't do right now by faith. Do what you couldn't do right now by faith. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lower back issues. God is touching you right now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just begin to move. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All pain is leaving right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Somebody that was dealing with damage in their back, a disc, ruptured disc. God is doing a creative miracle in your body right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for touching them right now. Now begin to do what you can do by faith. Hallelujah. Exercise your faith. Come on, that's the instruction. Exercise your faith. Hallelujah. And it will begin to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. 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 We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, those, Father God, that are battling in their mind, Father God, give them peace. Peace, God. Peace that surpasses all understanding, God. Peace. Peace. Somebody shout peace. Shout it again. Peace. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the peace of God be your portion even now. In the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I ask that your presence and your glory rest upon your people, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, rest upon them in their homes, 
right now, right where they are, wherever they're watching it, Father God, rest upon them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for miracles. Somebody shout miracles. 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 Taking place right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, there is no distance in your power, Father God. No time, Father God. It is, it is eternal. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you for touching bodies. I thank you for healing all diseases. In the name of Jesus, that, Father, when they go to the doctor, Lord, it will be confirmation of what you have done. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God a mighty shout of praise. Amen.